Today, we get to show you a glimpse of what it's like to coordinate aerial firefighting aircraft through a large-scale training scenario for air attack trainees. This is to capture footage for our long-term goal of making a docu-series that will take you inside the lives of airborne firefighters. All right, today we are on our way to Reading Air Attack Base to film a very special training. It is part of the initial training for the Air Tactical Group Supervisors. An Air Tactical Group Supervisor is a person that basically coordinates air assets to fight the fire. Today we're going to take you behind the scenes of one of the most important training programs for aerial firefighters that you've probably never heard of. The California Aerial Supervision Academy, or CASA for short. This specialized program provides training for individuals who will serve as Air Tactical Group Supervisors, or ATGSs, to supervise and coordinate aerial firefighting efforts from the sky. We also talked with an ATGS and an ATGS trainee that we're going to be following this year about what this training was like for them. Hey, what's happening? We wanted to just sort of hear from, from you guys, one, what we should expect, and two, what was it like for you when you went through it? I would pretty much say that the two weeks of training there, hands down the best class that I've been through. Most taxing class based on the amount of scenarios, stand tables they put you through, information overload, uh, learning all the new radios. The first week is pretty much, they build a very good foundation for you to get through the second week. And everything that they built on the first week within the scenario stand tables and simulators, now you get to put it to use the second week. As a student, you're super nervous for this week, right? Your big exercise is known as the buckhorn, and that's what you've been training for. When it comes to scenario day, which comes real quick that second week, you know, either the third or fourth day, um, you're, you're put to the test of what they've taught you the last couple of weeks. It's a really well put together class, and uh, I had a great time doing it. It's very stressful the entire time because, you know, there's a lot on the line. So this morning, we're going out to the site where CAL FIRE has been conducting ATGS training. So we're either early or we're late. Oh, no, no, no. Yes. Oh, they just driving in. Yeah, so we're making our way out to the, the training grounds, which is uh, where they do their final scenario. Um, it gives us uh, the opportunity to give the students the most realistic um, feel for what the job is going to inquire because it involves the uh, folks on the ground. It'll involve the aircraft. They'll actually be uh, flying in the aircraft and everything they've basically gained for the last two weeks, they'll be able to put into perspective and utilize for the training. Right now, we're kind of standing on what they call the fire line. It's marked with these orange markers. They've got some smoke machines. So the line that we have running along here, that's going to be sort of the head of the fire and that's going to be an area that you'd want to cut off or cool down uh, to stop the rate of spread. So hopefully, uh, yeah, we'll get to see some pretty cool drops today. Resources at scene of the Buckhorn incident. Air attack 08 is overhead of the fire on air to ground 14. Yeah. Identify. Uh, we have nobody on scene. We're making our way in high dispatch. Uh, let me know what we got. Tying 4108, air attack 08, uh, approximately five acres in the grass, uh, moving through some of the oaks. I copy, I'm very familiar with that area. My concern, I, I definitely don't want to cross into the Sacramento River. I'll make that a priority there. I'll uh, should be getting aircraft there soon. Air attack 08, uh, this is Monocopter 610, show seven miles from the southeast at 1,500. Monocopter 610, Altimeter 3000, you're cleared in 1000 and below. Air attacks at 3000. Uh, hazards that I can see are power lines about a mile to the south, and it uh, looks like there's some poles. Buckhorn Air Attack, South Fire Copter 64, 7 miles southeast, 1000, we're about to the Buckhorn on Air Attack 624. 
Helicopter 624, altimeter 3000, you're cleared in number two behind, Command Helicopter 610, 1000, air at 3000, no other aircraft are at scene, hazards of power lines to the west and east, and, and there are poles to the south. Command Division Tango 610 is inbound for a drop. Charlie 8 is 12 miles to the east, coming to your incident. I also have a, a lead plane just checked in. I uh, believe I'm going to have a, a Type 1, possibly a mass, and uh, another tanker checking in shortly. Uh, priority still right flank, right? Yeah, A for Priority right flank, Division Tango uh, is reporting some spots across the two track road down there. We can catch those, that'll be great. Uh, big concern is just crossing the Sac River to the south. We've got to make sure we hold that. Air attack copies. Mass 6. Tango, go ahead. Buckwood air attack copies, you're cleared in at 2,000. Yeah, just uh, look at your... Altimeter 3,000, air attacks at 3,000, two coppers yeah, are you working at 1,000 and below. Take it uh, about the, the Charlie 8 here. is uh, just arriving at C. Oh, okay. Uh, as well, well, I can see it come down, we're trying to hold the two track. Six, uh, uh, clear in 2,000, 3,000. Down on the two track line. See where it's kind of swapped across that road, there's another spot just uh, outside of the vehicle to park at the... Kind of looks like a wire in the road. Is that where you're looking? As affirmative, uh, so that's going to be the priority uh, and uh, target location the is that, uh, the, DM. There's a the green side there. of that spot trying to start check there start coming towards the one. And air, air attack, Charlie 8, uh, turn final for a low pass, I got both helicopters in sight, we just want to confirm this line. And Charlie 8, air attack, that looks like a good spot, so that's where I'd like to run. Okay, if, uh, if that line's clear, I'll join up with Matt, we won't make that, uh, make that happen. Okay, Sam, left flank, just look at the right flank. It's got a little bit slow on you, we'll just, uh, we'll go straight to the downwind. Copy, downwind, man. 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 MAP 6, Buckhorn Air Attack, that was a on time, uh, on target, that was a great drop, thank you. And Division Tango 610 is inbound for a drop. Nine six, turn final. Nine six on final, clear drop. Incident, air attack, uh, be a second tanker drop across the head forward. towards the left shoulder. Clear the line. 96 turn final. 96 turning final, clear drop. Uh, 96, uh, clear and empty. Uh, load return ready. Helicopter 610-624, you're cleared to target. So that drop from the top of the the neck drop coming, I think we're looking really good. We can release the rest of the aircraft. So. I copy that. I'll get with the copters and uh, send them back home. Thank you, sir. Buckhorn Air Attack will be departing the area. All right, well, that's a wrap. I think that went uh, really, really well. I think we got some pretty epic footage from the ground um, and from the air inside the cockpit i think we can really tell that story uh, beautifully of like how the, the training happens and the great thing is is that we got audio too which is awesome um yeah i think it went really well and really got some good stuff that's it